Well, hello there. Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, today is going to be about multiple topics. We learned earlier that Trump's uh, plane or jet had to land due to a mechanical issue. And also, Joe Rogan is either supporting RFK Jr. or, according to a recent article, he actually didn't endorse RFK. But let's get into it. Uh, but first, thanks for clicking on this video and thanks for checking out my channel. Basic Blue, I talk about things in a Hopefully, basic way, you know, non, non fancy way. Uh, talk about religion and politics on this channel. So, this kind of content, make sure to do what you do best. Smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this. So, um, the first thing that happened that I really want to talk about is that Trump's plane got diverted uh, in Montana. I have the article up here now. Former president's Trump plane, uh, former President Trump's plane was diverted in Billings, Montana due to a mechanical issue. It sounds like everything's okay uh, from what I'm reading here. This is on MSN.com. Probably not the best source of reliable information, but it's posted by Fox News. So I just wanted to kind of touch upon it just briefly that we're going to probably continue to experience these things, you know, as we get closer and closer to the election. But if you have faith, okay, uh, God appears to be watching out for President Trump. And, you know, I mean, in July 13th terms, uh, Ephesians talk is about putting on the armor of God. Clearly, you know, I would say at this point, we have quite a bit of evidence to show that Trump is currently being protected. You know, I've even said to people in my life, if you really think he's going to turn into a dictator, then, you know, Take this as an opportunity to have faith in the other direction. You know, if if Trump does end up turning out to be what some leftists think that he's going to turn into, you know, maybe God will uh, prevent that from occurring in the long run too. You have to be uh, faithful no matter what. That's the that's the whole point that God is asking all of us to say yes to every single second, every single. Uh, minute every single hour of every single day of every single week of every single month of every single year <laughs> We can keep going in that God is asking all of us a simple question to either say yes or no And so if you feel panicky uh, Just know that God is in control Okay, so regardless of which side of the political spectrum you're on you can use these times as an opportunity to say yes to God Okay, because he's the one that's in control. If we're about to elect somebody that's, you know, going to go on to do evil things, then at least have the faith to know God is not really going to let that happen to the world overall. <laughs> it's kind of like a movie. Like, here's something that they didn't let the evil people know. All right, the good guys win in the end. Okay, the real question is, who is the good guy and who's the bad guy? I think most of us, Probably a lot of you that are watching this video know who the good guy is, right? That it, that does appear to be Trump. It does appear to be the Republicans. Um, I've spoken to people in my family life about this, and I've I've reminded them that uh, the true nature of what we're fighting against is Marxism. I know I mention this in a lot of my videos, but I want to continue to mention it. Is that Marxism is really what Trump is fighting against? It doesn't mean that he's some sort of perfect you know, savior type of person. But at the very least, I mean, if you compare and contrast what Trump talks about in relation to Harris and Walls, uh, Harris and Walls both seem to be friendly towards socialism, communism. They tend to not even mention Marxism. But if you're watching this video right now, you should open up a separate tab on your browser and type in Donald Harris, Marxist, Stanford. Okay, it'll bring up some stuff about Kamala Harris's father, who was known to be a Marxist when he taught at Stanford University. Okay, now chain that together with Waltz's travels uh, over the years to China. I think you can kind of infer some things about what we might be headed towards under a, a Harris-Waltz uh, administration. I'd particularly like to reach out to any sort of women that might be watching my channel. You guys effectively control this vote whether you realize it or not. Um, if you look at the footage from the Harris-Waltz uh, rallies, you'll notice one thing in common, okay? 
it's a lot of women with kind of like the same type of flesh tone as me, if you get my draft. So if you're in that group, okay, and you're already convinced that Trump is the right pick, I would encourage all of you to try and share content with uh, some of your friends that might match that description. I don't really like talking about race, uh, but, you know, because I, I think this is pointless. I mean, you can just close your eyes and listen to me, right? You're probably not even watching this. You probably have it shrunk down in the corner of your screen. So what the heck difference is it supposed to make anyways? You know, if you just turn on the lights, we're all the same color, right? So really, uh, <laughs> I wish it wasn't about demographics. So specifically, I'm just commenting on the fact that if you look at a lot of the Waltz Harris rallies, the footage from that indicates that it's pretty much one demographic that's controlling the vote. So I would encourage all of you, uh, even if it looks like a lot of men watch my channel now because of the political nature that I'm talking about, you guys need to reach out to the other women in your life and try and talk to them about what Marxism is. You need to let them know that there's a long history of really bad things that are associated with that. Okay. Anyways, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about is Joe Rogan kind of made, maybe you could say it's a slip up just recently on one of his recent podcasts. He talks about uh, that he kind of prefers RFK Jr. I haven't watched the actual, actual clip, but I think he talked about how he wants to vote for him. And now I've seen an article here. I'm looking at New York Times. Joe Rogan would like to clarify he did not endorse Robert FK uh, Jr., Joe Rogan over the years, I think a lot of people have kind of come to associate him with being um, maybe not a Trump supporter, but kind of like alluding to it over time because he's so against, well, Marxism and trans ideology and that sort of thing. So it was very shocking to a lot of people to learn this about uh, Joe that, oh, you mean, wait a minute, you're going to potentially take a vote away from Trump? And maybe some of the people that watch his show are also going to, you know, consider that to be an influence about how they vote. So it was very controversial. You know, I think a lot of people are upset with Joe, even for the fact that he just kind of alluded to that. Uh, same thing with Kyle Rittenhouse recently. He, you know, kind of went back and forth on gun rights and people got after him and said, well, I guess I am going to support Trump. So we're seeing a lot of that. It's almost like people that are influencers are kind of like tiptoeing around like who they support and who they don't. Anyways, uh, last thing I want to talk about here, I'm going to read a little quote, um, a, little, a passage from the Bible that a friend of mine shared to me just recently. I think it's encouraging. This is from um, the first chapter of Peter in the Bible. Um, it is Peter 1, uh, 6 through 7. So be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead. Even though you must endure many trials for a little while, these trials will show that your faith is genuine. It's being tested as fire tests and purifies gold. Though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. When your faith, so when your faith remains strong through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Jesus Christ is revealed to the whole world. That's Peter um, chapter 1, 6, 7. Uh, that was from the New Living Translation version. Anyways, I just share that because a friend of mine recently shared that with me. And there's good news, okay? If you guys pray, if you have faith, I think you'll find, and I, I, I need to kind of remind myself of this too, Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and leave me a comment to encourage me to have faith as well. You know, I've had to reach out to several people in my life. Uh, one of which just recently helped me kind of bring this into perspective as well. Uh, a person that I know in my life that's a, kind of an associate uh, business-wise, he talked about serving in Vietnam and how things kind of seem like they're going to go out of control and then America has a way of getting through even the toughest times. You know, talking to that person, hearing about his experiences, uh, somebody that invests uh, 
you know, regularly as, a, as an advisor. And so this person had a very clear, um, you know, kind of level-headed, even, even way, even-handed way of looking at this. And so I think part of the goal of this video is to just, yeah, I wanted to touch upon some things that just happened recently, uh, specifically with Trump's plane being grounded because of a mechanical issue. Yeah, we're probably going to see more and more of this as time goes on. And these next couple months are going to be critical. Okay, so all of you need to keep the faith. Uh, talk to those that you love. You know, take this situation as an opportunity to spread God's word to others. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.